So it was very interesting. A board member actually asked me, do you all actually need 100 days of maternal leave? And I actually told them, you are not a female and you're not in a position to actually ask that question. <laughs> The short answer to that is I identify as a child of God and I continue to be his work in progress. After graduating, I came to Sri Lanka not knowing exactly what sort of industry I wanted to get into or the work I wanted to do. I started off at SLIC first, then I went into Akin Spence Travels. Actually decided I quite liked the organization and the industry and I joined as a management trainee after that from being a non-paid intern to a management trainee. So that gave me an opportunity to take a very deep dive into the various industries that we operate in. And I've also supplemented that with a lot of uh, personal research, interactions with international industry experts I came across during uh, my travels, attending various conferences. So that helped me build a solid uh, foundation. And over the years, I was also blessed to come across international mentors and experts who've counseled me and guided me along the way because I believe I am in very unique experiences and positions where I have to wear very different and multiple hats. So to ensure I balance everything out as well. From a very young age, I decided to ensure that I will strive to make the correct decisions that will be true to my principles and to ensure that I am just and fair by the multidisciplinary, multi-generational individuals that I would come across in any organization or any institution I'm a part of. And I've also realized it is very critical to understand the socio-economic environments we deal with today as well as how uh, various aspects unfold over time and I've also been very blessed and fortunate to be able to shadow a true visionary entrepreneur in my father who's Deshamani Hari Jayawardhana and my mother who's been an extraordinarily strong and graceful lady over the years in very different scenarios and you know they've both exposed me through life to various circumstances, various situations and, you know, interactions with different business and political personalities over the years has formed me to who I am today. The vision I've had for the organizations that I'm a part of is together with the respective teams to build synergies across all of the organizations and to take the remarkable stories and brands that each of them possess to the next generation with the core values of integrity, entrepreneurship, empowerment, equal opportunities, whilst harnessing the incredible multi-generational talent each organization would possess across the various regions and whilst at the same time, harnessing the transformative aspects of AI, data, and technology. So being on various boards from Akin Spence to Lanka Milk Foods to Milstar Corp, I'm in various positions to be able to influence certain decision making and to influence policies and change where necessary. Over the years, I've always, as I've said before, I've come across various business personalities and been privileged to have very inspirational uh, conversations and come across a very diverse spectrum of perspectives and stories. So these conversations have taught me the spirit of uh, service in leadership, the need to have a solid level of responsibility towards what you do and the people of an organization to have wisdom over knowledge, uh, to persevere no matter what, to be very, very courageous, uh, irrespective of the situations you face, and to always stay true to your principles and to 
stick by a certain level of integrity at all times. Over the years, with any individual I deal with and whoever I come across, if they are willing to take certain advice, I would always tell them to ensure that they stick to their principles and what their moral center and what they hold to be true, to never compromise on integrity and to be graceful and level-headed where misinformation, treacherous behavior or mansplaining may run awry and to handle things with dignity. What balance looks like for each individual would differ from what it would mean to me to an individual doing various uh, different professions and at various points in life they're in and the various circumstances they're in and the various environments they're in. I think each person needs to give themselves time and at different stages in their lives as well to figure out what balance means to them at that point in their lives and at various points in their professions. So it's very critical you spend that time figuring that out. I am a firm believer in exercising the muscles of your physical body muscles in terms of physical exercise, but also the muscles of your spirit, your emotional muscles, as well as your spiritual muscles. That's where I believe for an individual to optimally function, you need to have a focus and to exercise those relevant muscles often and on a daily basis. So even if it means five minutes on a daily basis across each aspect or 20 minutes, I would say take that time to do it. And also it's very, very critical to have a support system as you move through various stages in life. And again, that support system would differ from individual to individual and what you have to deal with. At Akin Spence, we were the, one of the first signatories to the UN Global Compact Principles and the Women Empowerment Principles. The tourism sector of Akin Spence compromises of 15% of female workforce and it is a number we would very much like to see increase and we are taking various measures, introducing various trainings and support systems to ensure that the female workforce actually continue working after they have children because one of the things we found and what I've personally experienced is the when they do have their second child due to personal challenges and due to lack of childcare or extended family to assist them to take care of their children, they choose to actually step back from the working environment. So this is something we hope to change by addressing HR and terms of employment in the future. And this is something we've, we are already in the process of doing. The group's recent initiative of diversity, equity and inclusion under the theme Freedom to be me was recently launched. We also strive to gather information through various surveys. So all the employees across the different organizational structure would have a say in terms of how we are doing things as organizations, in terms of inclusivity, in terms of uh, female friendly policies. To that effect recently we did introduce paternal leave as well as increase maternal leave to 100 days. So it was very interesting when a board member actually asked me, do you all actually need 100 days of maternal leave? And I actually told them, you're not a female and you're not in a <laughs> position to actually make, you know, ask that question. <laughs> so, yeah, we did introduce that in the end. Firstly, I would encourage anyone to understand what your God-given purpose for your life is, because I do wholeheartedly believe that life is a lot easier if your life is aligned to the God-given purpose for your life. And always be inspired, always be of integrity, even when no one is looking and do the right thing by the principles you believe in. Uh, be relentlessly curious because curiosity actually helps you learn on a daily basis. 
Always ask questions, never assume things, even if it means that someone else in the room would think you're dumb or certain expertise, because my experience has been that by asking questions, we've been able to actually improve the effectiveness of policies, processes and procedures within the organizations and actually create different experiences for everyone around. And always be aware of your immediate sphere of influence because you can focus your energies on influencing things you can change and whatever it is that is beyond your control and due to various reasons and beyond your authority sphere. Leave it in God's hands because God does work in mysterious ways.